All right, here we are on the Infowars. Germany, seven suspects arrested for gang raping 18-year-old girl. Iraqis and Syrians among suspects. Well, let's get into it. Seven suspects were allegedly involved in gang raping an 18-year-old woman in the city of Herford in the German state of North Rhine, West Villa, according to a public prosecutor in Ballafield. The woman is said to have been drugged with knockout drops and raped multiple times in a parking lot. There are two Iraqi nationals involved. You know, if they're Iraqi nationals, they should have been deported along with the Afghan nationals. But anyway, moving on. One German Syrian and four others who have German citizenship. The German citizens may have migration background, but Germany does not release such data. Yeah, of course not. One of the suspects is said to be a girl as well. Um, that's kind of degenerate, but all right. The seven suspects range between 18 and 21 years old. The two Iraqis are considered the main suspects in the attack and are currently in custody. Well, they all should be in custody in my opinion, but anyway. According to German newspaper NW. The incident occurred on August 24th inside the parking lot of a fast food restaurant, with the suspects allegedly graping the knocked out girl inside a parked vehicle. Police are investigating the use of knockout drugs, which were said to have been used on the girl. Can't they do a toxicology report? Anyway, moving on. Prosecutors say they have surveillance video of the incident. Go Park Managing Director Lucas Kalman told Bill Newspaper, It is terrible what happened, but our disco bears no responsibility. At the moment, I cannot even say for sure whether the victim and perpetrator were even guests at our club. I immediately made all of the video material available to the police, and of course, I am happy to help solve this crime. Here's another article from last year. Police in the German state of North Rhine, West Villa, arrested 155 suspects in connection with 209 cases of gang rape. A total of 84 suspects were foreign nationals and 71 were German citizens. Yeah, well, how many of those German citizens are ethnic Germans, I wonder? Here's another story that happened in North Rhine, West Villa. Iranian refugee was raped by four other Iranian men, with this gang rape also happening in the state. Disturbing statistics also show that half of all suspects involved in gang rapes in the state are foreigners, while at least another quarter are German citizens with foreign first names. So in other words, probably not ethnic Germans. So when I was making this video, I saw this story of this ADF politician who has been convicted for publishing gang rape statistic data related to Afghan immigration. With her case now attracting worldwide attention, so I'm going to look into that. AFD politician Marie Therese Kaiser has now been convicted for publishing gang rape statistics in response to news that Afghan migrants would be moved to her district. So she's trying to protect her district by warning her people? That's noble. Anyway, moving on. The 27-year-old politician was found guilty in the Verdun Regional Court in Lower Saxony on Monday for inciting hatred against local Afghan workers. She is ordered to pay a fine of 6,000 euros and, and is being charged 60 euros a day for 100 days. She will also have a criminal record. The case relates back to a post from August 2021 in which she made a post on social media writing Afghan refugees Hamburg SPD mayor for unbureaucratic admission, welcoming culture for gang rape? Yeah, refugees. The politician linked an article showing that Afghans in Germany feature particularly higher levels of gang rape. Kaiser was responding to 2021's Hamburg mayor, first mayor Peter Tekshkoshir, SPD, who announced that 200 Afghan workers would be arriving in Hamburg 
Yeah, workers, because the native female population is not having enough kids, so they have to bring in workers. Kaiser protested this decision with her statistics, saying she was concerned about immigration and the potential for grape from cultural alien masses. Concerned? Should be more than concerned, but anyway. So I guess this is the statistic that she used, or something similar? In, in Germany, Afghans and Africans are proportionately 40 times and 70 times more involved in gang grapes than Germans. Also, what classifies as Germans nowadays? Like, when I think of Germans, I think of the ethnic Germans, Germanic people. But people say, oh, well, as long as you're born in Germany, you're German. So, anyway, back to the article. So you can see that Afghans are 41, Africans are 23, foreigns, Afghans and Africans are 3, and Germans are only 0 0.6. Wow. Um, tell me again why diversity is a strength. However, despite freedom of speech protections in Germany, Judge Hinko Halbass still found Kaiser guilty, stating that anyone who attacks human dignity cannot invoke freedom of speech or expression. So because she posted statistics that were actually government statistics, she got charged with attacking human dignity. Um... So much for freedom of speech or freedom of expression. Because, I mean, that's the government's own statistics, and she was just posting it. Okay, here's a tweet from Elon Musk. Are you saying the fine was for repeating accurate government statistics? I guess so. So you'd think the government would be charged too, but the government's not going to charge itself. Was there anything inaccurate with what she said? Probably not. You see the same statistics in France. I did a video about that a while ago. It was just, oh, you hurt people's fifis, so we're going to fine you. And of course, they don't care about people's feelings. They just hate the IFD party, because that's a threat to their control, their power. So they're doing whatever they can to squish them. Well, anyway, take care out there in clown world.